Coverage of the Cullen Davis case by the Fort Worth Star-Telegram has been massive. In the last 20 years, only the JFK assassination, Vietnam, Watergate, and an auto theft scandal in the police department have received more coverage. The day of the killings at the Davis mansion, the evening edition was turned into a picture magazine with tens of feature stories. The executive editor of the Star-Telegram called the story the biggest to ever hit Fort Worth, and it probably was. It had all the makings of a dime store novel. A multimillionaire allegedly shoots his way into his own mansion, kills his estranged wife's lover, her stepdaughter, and then shoots his buxom, platinum-haired wife. March 1977. Texas Monthly's Gary Cartwright brings you this month's chilling cover story, Rich Man, Dead Man. A high society shocker with a paperback plot. A ricochet romance of riches, luxury, sex, and murder in a $6 million Fort Worth mansion. The Cullen Davis murders, as they've come to be called, were irresistible to Texas Monthly and D Magazine, becoming Texas Monthly's cover story for March. And D Magazine also gave the story plenty of space. With as much coverage of the case as has been received, the inevitable has happened. Choosing an unprejudiced jury has become tedious. To date, after eight weeks, only eight jurors have been selected. Then there's the case of the friendly rapist. Dallas Public Relations executive Guy Marble was arrested last February as the man who allegedly raped over 80 women in the North Dallas area. First, there came a story in the Times Herald that Marble admitted to 42 rapes and that his fingerprints, according to police, were found in the apartments of 19 rape victims. There was also an accompanying map showing the proximity of most of the rapes to Marble's home. Marble's face was pictured on the front page several times. The name and face of Guy Marble became an inseparable part of any story about the friendly rapist. In fact, a newspaper published by a radical feminist organization proclaimed Marble guilty of the rapes and declared him apprehended. Guy Marble had, by direct statement and implication, been found guilty in the press as the friendly rapist. The Cullen Davis defense team has taken the unprecedented step of hiring a public relations man to not only handle press inquiries, but also to keep watch over press reports during the critical phase of jury selection. That in the energy of the moment and the trauma of the moment, in an effort to represent everything that went on, Actually, mistakes can be made by an inexperienced reporter. Mistakes in imputation of guilt, in facts versus people involved, in the use of terms, and these things can have a profound effect then when the case actually does come to trial later on. In some instances, it could result in a mistrial or change of venue or an abrogation of the rights of the defendant. That, I think, is part of the problem is the maintenance of this presumption of innocence tradition.